channel. So today's video is going to be about the Yeezy 350 V2s in the Cloud White colorway. Now this is set to drop this Saturday which is the 21st of September and the retail price is 340 Australian dollars. Now that's meant to be a reflective version of the Cloud White but unfortunately I could not get my hands on a pair which I'm quite sad about because I actually really wanted to do a comparison video but I just don't know anywhere that's dropping the reflective version here in Australia. I've entered a few raffles online and as you guys already know the reflective version usually has a very high resale value um, but yeah I don't have them so I only have the non-reflective pair but I thought I'll give you guys a closer look and also some on feet shots of what these look like and tell you what I think about this particular colorway. First impression wise I think they look really really good you can see that it is a baby blue kind of color and it has mix of white and sort of like a seafoam green kind of color combination I think overall it looks really really good and I've actually lost count of how many different 350 v2 colorways there are out there but this is probably one of the better one in my opinion I feel like this video is going to be pretty short because there's really not too much I can say about the 350 v2s because essentially it's just a different colorway it has the same prime knit pattern that we've seen on the statics or even the synth so they all have a very very similar vibe so it really depends on whether you like this colorway. I do like how they've used a sort of milky white midsole. It's sort of semi-translucent as well and I think that looks really good and the outsole is kind of like a light yellow color and yeah I think overall it is a very good color combination. It'll definitely be something I'd wear a lot maybe in summer or spring and I think it pairs well with a lot of things and I think they're just really cute but I feel like I'm biased sometimes because I tend to like most of the Yeezy releases but yeah it kind of has a salt vibe as well right because it's sort of that light blue color in terms of detailing again everything is the same it does have that translucent stripe here on the side so one thing I've noticed about the cloud white colorway is that it doesn't have any reflective detail except for the heel grip area over here because in the past like the synth for example even though they came up with a reflective and non-reflective version the non-reflective version still had reflective laces but this time around the lace on this one is kind of just like a light grayish blue lace with zero reflective details and like I mentioned before the reflective details is really just this section over here on the inside of the sneaker so obviously it's not something that's very noticeable another thing that I've noticed is that this particular colorway doesn't have the heel tab so similar to the synth and a few other colorways there just isn't the heel tab which really doesn't make too much of a difference I mean the heel tab it's a nice detail but without it I think it still looks just as good and yeah the 350 v2 is probably the most popular Yeezy silhouette and I'm sure a lot of people are familiar with the 350 v2s they're really really comfortable in my opinion it does have the boost as always so you can be assured that these are super super comfy and if you don't already own a pair of 350 v2s you should definitely give this a go. There are a few places here in Melbourne that will be releasing them so I'll list it in the description bar below so you guys can check it out. Also in terms of sizing as usual I find that the 350 V2s run a little bit small so I'll recommend going half a size up so I'm usually a men's size 6 and in these ones I go for a 6.5. With the Yeezy sizing they always list them in men's sizing so if you only know your women's sizing you can just convert it to men's and then go half a size up. I hope that makes sense. Anyway, if you guys can't figure out your Yeezy sizing, I've actually done a video all about Yeezy sizing which I'll link in the description bar below as well in case you guys are interested. But overall, I think it is a really great colorway. Kind of can't go wrong. If you do like a pastel kind of color, then you'll definitely enjoy these and I feel like it is a very unisex color. And yeah, let me know in the comments below what you guys think about the Cloud Whites and whether you'll be copying a pair this Saturday. The Citrine colorway will be releasing on Monday. I have entered 
the Adidas raffle, so I don't know how lucky I'm going to be, but if I manage to win the raffle for that pair, then I'll definitely do a video on those as well. So fingers crossed. I haven't had any raffle luck this year, so hopefully, you know, I win this time because I tried entering lots of raffles for the Nike Sakai waffles and I did not get a single pair, unfortunately. So anyway, I'm rambling a lot as always. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will see you guys really, really soon. Bye. I will be only, I will be only, I will only be, if you look at the upper, you can see that it has a mix of white and blue knit, oh my god, I can't think of the word, a mix of white and blue, the prime knit, no, the material, oh my god, guys, I've had a long day, the shoes are clean by the way, it's always touching my head, um, it's a mix of white and blue, Okay. Thing I've noticed about this colorway is that uh, uh, ah, I can't talk. The bitch is tired.